So this is just a little video carrying on from the, uh, the first part. So now that I lifted up the bed and I've got it resting on my back, um, you've got over here under this little cover here, so I'll lift this up like that, you've got your mains isolator trip switches down here. So as long as you've got your mains cable plugged into the vehicle, you need to make sure that they're all in the upright position. You've then got your Electra block, so it's an EBL 208S. They've all got various different numbers and names, uh, but essentially this is your power supply unit or your PSU. So you've got all of your 12 volt fuses on here with a little diagram showing you what they do. Um, the only one that's missing is this one over here, just so that you know, it says for AES fridge only. So automatic energy selecting fridge, which you don't have, so you don't need that fuse in. And your leisure battery sits over here on the right. So this is what I was saying. So you've got wires coming up directly from your engine battery so that your leisure battery here charges up whilst you're driving. So that's that little cupboard down there. And you've got, if I just lean down with this, we've got your boiler settings and controls. Right, so over here on the left hand side, you've got your Trumatic C boiler controls. So basically the bottom one there, which is a little green switch, is how you heat the water up via the electric element. So that should work now because the electric hookup is plugged in. If you wanted to heat the van up, so just heating only, you need to do that by pushing that little dial down once. If you push the dial down twice, it gives you hot water and heating at the same time. If you go up one or up two, that gives you hot water only. And that is all on gas, all right? So this is just hot water only on electric. And there you gas bits at the top. The gas isolator is that one just there. And your boiler drain, I know you can't see it, but basically your boiler drain is just inside there and it's just a little red pulley. Um, so essentially, down a second. so inside the little cupboard just there, it's too dark for me to show you on the video, but you've got a little red pulley just down to the right hand side of the boiler. So when you pull that up, it stops any water from going out down onto the floor. Uh, if you push it down, it'll drop it all out. The only thing to point out with this is that it's an automatic dropout valve. So as soon as it gets down to sort of minus temperatures, it will drop the water out from the boiler by itself, just so that you know that. Um, but it's kind of just a safety feature. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it really. I just thought I'd show you those bits under the bed. If there's anything you think I've missed out or anything you'd like going through again, just let us know. But otherwise, we look forward to seeing you soon to click your van. Thanks very much.